Hello everyone, I am Yogesh here. This video is about hover effect on web pages. Hover effect is not same for laptop or devices, devices which are controlled using mouse and for devices which are controlled using touch. So we will see how to use hover effect on both the devices. Let's start with an index file index.html here we will first include a CSS a script and we'll have a button now let's see how it looks revel in explorer we will open it in chrome So this is our button. Now I will create the style file. Firstly, I will assign margin 0, padding 0 to all elements. Now we will see this. This is as expected. Now let's add a class my button what should be the property let's say padding 5 pixel background color Mm, red so this is our button now we will add the hover effect we will change the background color to blue So here you can see this, this is our hover effect. Now I will make this device a touch device. Let's go for iPhone X, refresh. See I have clicked on it but when we are using touch devices, our pointer is not on the screen it is above screen in three dimensional space but when we are using a device like laptop computer then our mouse is always on the screen so when we remove the cursor from the screen on those devices it will remove the hover effect but for touch devices it won't unless and until i click on some other element like this so for this what we are going to do is I will create an extra class my button hover and instead of instead of using background color over here I will use it for this class so the hover effect is solely controlled by my button hover class now initially this class won't be present here I will save this 
and now we will go to our script file now firstly we will get our button we will attach an event listener to it named touch start smallest in this we will add a class my button hover so when we are clicking on it we are adding the class my button hover and when we move the click that is when the touch event ends we will remove the class let's see it here i i click done it. and if i leave it then the effect is gone now the initial value should be red so i will do this let's see the output yeah it is as expected so we do not require this so yeah so adding hover effect using a different class through javascript will help us for replicating the hover effect for touch devices now let's see if this works on desktop it won't right so for this what we will do we will define uh my button hover my button and hover event but this will be under media query there should be mean width 991 pixel and we will move this and this I'll press a tab here and here i will save it um let's see what is the problem oh the color should be blue and the device shouldn't be the touch one and the width should be higher so this is working and
this is working as well. So in this way you can replicate the hover effect for touch devices. And that's it from this video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching the video.